Making rice is easy, but you can spice it up by making fried rice. Here, I'll teach you how. You're going to need a rice cooker or some way to cook rice, soy sauce or other spices you might want to add, an egg, chopsticks or a spoon, rice, vegetable oil, a frying pan, and random stuff. First, you take your vegetable oil and coat your pan. This is a good amount. You don't want too much because it might be a little oily. So you place it on your stove and you set it to high. And you let that sit for a bit. And then, you take your egg and your chopsticks, or you can use the fork. You crack your egg. And you drop it in. Make sure you keep it clean to avoid salmonella. So now your egg is frying a little, so you just cook the yellow part. Now that your egg is cooking, put your eggs into a separate bowl so you can cook it with your rice later. Add a little more oil, just a little bit. If you happen to have some vegetables lying around, you should add those in too. Once you have your vegetables in, put your rice in. And for your meat, or whatever else you want to add in. For meat, I like to just shred it with my fingers. Make sure your hands are clean. Because that's going to be gross. You want them cut into little pieces. Depending on your preference, you can use a knife. I don't, because I'm lazy. Just stir it up a little. And at this point, you want to turn your temperature down. If your meat is like frozen meat, you want to make sure that's cooked beforehand. But since we're doing the college way, we don't care about frozen meat. <laughs> now drop your eggs in. You want to add a little spice and flavor. Just add some soy sauce. Not too much, or a lot if you like soy sauce. I prefer a little bit. Okay, some more. You can add whatever else spices you want. If not, that's good enough. So there you have your fried rice, and you just serve it in your favorite bowl. I'm picking my ramen bowl, because I'm eating rice, not ramen. So we all like Mexican food, so I'm going to teach you how to make enchiladas in less than 10 minutes. You're going to need your favorite cheese, chopped onions, vegetable oil, tortillas, and enchilada sauce. First, you're going to grate the cheese. Voila! You're gonna mix the cheese with the chopped onions in a bowl. Now it's time to bring in the tortillas. So now I set up what I call enchilada um, station. So what we have is just a basic pan where you're gonna use to heat up the tortillas. And then on this side we have a pan with um, vegetable oil. Make sure it's pretty full because that's what you're gonna use to fry the tortillas. And then we have the sauce. Now what I did is instead of making the sauce by scratch, which takes a bit longer, um, I went ahead and bought 
Just store-bought sauce, cost like $3, and it's a lot easier to do. So now, I'm gonna start doing going through the stations. So first, I'm gonna put a couple of tortillas on the pan. All right, so once the sauce seems like it's gonna be like boiling and stuff, you might wanna turn it down to simmer. Just make sure that the sauce is staying warm and heated and not like overcooking. Okay, so your tortillas are heating up. Make sure they're not burning. And I have a fork because I can't find tongs. And um, take those out and once those are done, you're gonna stick it in the frying. It's gonna start sizzling like so. Get both sides. Don't keep it in there too long because then it's going to turn into a tostada and you do not want that. And then you stick it in the sauce. Do that to both of your other tortillas and just repeat the process. So you start kind of getting a little circle of movement going on. in the red sauce just enough to coat it coat it and once you think it's sufficiently coated you can just take it out Hot. now that you've prepared the tortillas with the coating of the salsa and all the frying and stuff you're going to come to get your cheese and this is where it gets messy guys so be prepared grab an extra plate just so you can put it in something. Okay. All right, once you've got rolled your, your um, enchiladas, what I like to do is sprinkle a little bit of cheese on top. Stick it in the microwave for about 10 seconds for the cheese to melt, and then serve it up and enjoy. The end.